obviously excited it was a really good game for you. Um, can you just talk about your preparation that we don't get to see, you know, from from Sunday through Friday, the last you know few weeks, and, and how much you put in to, to you know the growth that we've seen, and also what kind of leadership are you providing for this uh, for this team? Yeah, you know, um, Coach Lasser does a great job of preparing me um, for every game. Uh, helps me um, understand what coverage are going to come, uh, depending on uh, where where a defensive player is, like number ten uh, or whatever number it is, um, and that'll give away what what coverage is going to be. Um, but yeah, I, I put a lot a lot of extra work in um, watching extra film. Um, after practice, after my classes, so, um, and then the leadership role. Um, yeah, I feel like a lot of guys have my back. Um, I feel like I'm I'm really taking charge of the offense uh, more than I have been the last couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, um, our team is a confident team, um, and there's a lot of fight in each and every guy. Next, we'll go to Kobe Price from Sun Sentinel. Kobe. Hey Tyler, congrats on the win. A lot was made about your comments early in the week when you said when the long lines of a part of NC State defense and who you said, you know, they can't stop us, etc. I guess what did the NC State players say to you before the game or even during the game? And I guess how great was it for you to see your teammates rally around you behind you uh, to get this win? Yeah, they were saying stuff. I mean it didn't really bother me at all. Um, I didn't mean to say it you know, like that. I meant uh, on, on Tuesday. Um, I was just saying, once once we get in a roll, um, we stop ourselves. Is what I was saying. And once once we get in a roll, um, we control our own destiny with it. So, um, but yeah, um, we we fought tonight, um, proved everyone wrong. Um, yeah, and uh, my teammates did a great job protecting me uh, and rallying behind. So it was good. Next, we'll go to Manny Navarro from the Athletic. Manny. Hey Tyler, uh, you know, Coach Diaz basically said he was happy that you, you, you know, sort of followed through, you know, and delivered tonight. Um, I'm just curious, obviously there's a lot of heat from the outside on, on Coach Diaz. Just how, how motivated are you guys to win for him and to kind of, you know, support him? I mean, yeah, we love Coach Diaz. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think he's a great coach. We all think he's a great coach on the team. Um, so, I mean, yeah, we're going to keep fighting for him, uh, keep fighting for each other. Um, and we're not going anywhere. We're going to keep proving everyone wrong. He's going to keep proving everyone wrong. And uh, it's not over yet, so. And then also just the, the final scoring drive, you guys threw up the whole game, and then, you know, they kind of took the lead there. Just take us through that drive and, you know, punching in the end zone there to, to clinch it. Uh, you're talking about the – which one are you talking about? Yeah, you guys are done. I think they were up 27. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we weren't going down with any fight. Um, I mean, the last last couple of games, um, in those type of situations, we, we we got stopped or whatever. Couldn't couldn't finish through. Um, so right there, uh, yeah, it felt really good um, to everyone on the team that we followed through with that. So next, we'll go to Tom D'Angelo from the Palm Beach Post. Tom. Uh, did, 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 did any coaches say anything to you after your comments? Um, however, you meant whatever you meant to say, the way they came out, obviously, uh, was uh, you saw there was, was a lot of stuff said about that. So, did you after it, and did anyone tell you to kind of tone it down? Uh, like coaches on our team? Any of your coaches, correct? Uh, uh, no, we actually uh, rallied behind it. Um, Coach Diaz, uh, in one of our team meetings, he, he showed my quote and everything, and uh, got everyone gave everyone a lot of confidence. Um, so I mean, I didn't expect that, but yeah, Coach Diaz did a great job of uh, rallying behind uh, what I said. Um, but yeah, we we took that um, and just and rolled with it. So. Our last question tonight for Tyler comes from Gary Furman from Team Sport. Gary. Uh, hey Tyler, do you walk out here out of the stadium tonight feeling different about yourself than you did walking in? I mean, you know, you balled out there against a pretty good defense. You were throwing deep balls on ropes that were landing perfectly in receivers' hands. Uh, you ran the ball effectively, commanded the game. I mean, you were a whole different level quarterback tonight.
legs. You walk out of here feeling different. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it feels good um, to play a good game and get the get the win. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use this as confidence, you know. Um, I'm mean, gonna look at look back at this game, just uh, see how I played, and just use that as, as leverage for the next next few games. But I got to give credit to the O line; they they balled out tonight too. Um, Rooster, Cody, uh, and all the receivers too. They did, they did a great job of helping me out with that. So. Thank you. Well, there are our last, last question from Tim Reynolds from the Associated Press. Tim? Thanks for getting it in. I'm sorry, Tyler. So this is the first part of, um, I was on other zones, so I missed your early comments, but I'm guessing you weren't asked this one. How big was the first, that, that first default in the second half? How much did you need that? How much did that one play kind of set the tone for what you guys did in the third and fourth quarter? Yeah, we went into halftime. Uh, Coach Ashley came out on the whiteboard, drew that play up. Uh, we were knew we knew we were gonna hit that. Um, even though they were playing cloud covers, they were they were playing coverage the whole game, and they wanted us, they dared us to run the ball. Um, but yeah, we hit it over top of them. Uh, yeah, that, that really helped our momentum uh, throughout the the second half. So it was good. Oh uh, yeah, thank um on that drive, the main thing we were trying to do is just execute execute every play. Um every play that, that was called, just give our all and it's gonna end up it's gonna we're gonna come out with the results we wanted and that's what happened. Oh yeah, man. I, I mean, Coach Diaz is our guy. Like that's our guy. Um, that's the main man, He's head of the program. We we give him all, we give him all our day, every day, and he give us his all every day. I love that. I love him with everything. He's a great mentor, great coach, off the field, everything. Just he's a great guy. And we don't really like we don't really talk too much about what the media say about Coach Diaz, but we know we got his back, and that's all that matters. From the, from the start, we just we know what we're capable of from from every day in practice. What we put in, how 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 do we put in the work? We know what we're capable of. So what TVD said, we knew we knew from the jump that that's how we that's how we was gonna come. TVD didn't say no lies inside. What he whatever he said, we just came to execute, and that's what happened. Hold up, physically, I just do my job, do my job, whatever my sign, run hard, and that's how I just do that. I just run hard, do my job, protect TVD, believe in my old line, and that's gonna get that's gonna get us where we need to go. And, and just as a quick follow, the effort that you're putting out there is, is pretty obvious. Uh, talk a little bit about where that's coming from, and like, is this just a matter of you seizing your opportunity now after missing the first part of the season? Uh, it's a every me working hard, me going hard is an everyday thing. So I just put it on the field on Saturdays. Take prepare throughout the week, Monday through Monday through Friday, and perform on Saturday. So with that, I just stay focused, work hard, ground with my teammates, and let that go.
were down, the pressure on you, you take us through that play, what was that like? <laughs> Uh, before before the snap, before the snap, TVD said, "Come on, like we need this." So uh, before, we we practiced that play over and over during the week, and that was the that was that's what it was for. That was that's what it was for. Like that's what it was designed to do. Just that was a touchdown play. If it's not a touchdown, it ain't gonna work. So that's b before the before we started that play. I already knew what was coming. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's our goal. Just keep going hard daily for Coach Diaz. Just go hard. Just go hard. That's all we do. Can't do really nothing else but go hard throughout practice every day in the week and perform on Saturdays. We love them, and that's just how it goes. We're just gonna keep working day by day, and let 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 our, go ahead. Same, same guy. Was he different? Same guy. Motivation. He's just gonna tell tell us what need to be done, and that's what we do. Execute. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the win uh, and the performance. Can, can you talk a little bit about Tiger Van Dyke and you know, Coach mentioned how what he said this week. You know, maybe brought some confidence to you guys on offense. I know obviously the NC State guys were talking a little trash to him before the game. We saw the DB running right by him talking trash. Um, can you speak to just? You know, what Tyler brings and the fact that he's so confident you guys will win this game and maybe the way it rubbed off on everybody else? Well, I mean, with Tyler at quarterback, uh, I mean, he just, he's just, he's a ball player, competitive guy, wants to get a win, and just a guy like that at quarterback is going to always be better for the team. So, I mean, having him at quarterback and having his pregame speeches motivate us, and we just go out there, protect Tyler. Be great. Uh, catch all the balls he throw. I mean, we we there for Tyler regardless. So I mean, we love Tyler at quarterback. <laughs> did, did you kind of like the fact of what he said this week? You know, in terms of hey, we, we put a forty-four on these guys last year. Did you did you as a receiver? Did you did that kind of invigorate you guys on offense at all? I mean, we don't care about none of that. Just knowing that what we do at practice is gonna get the job done and go out there tonight. We got the dub and we just going on the next week and keep it going. Next, we'll go to Gary Furman from Gainesville. Gary? Uh, hey, Charleston. Um, nine catches, 127 yards, two touchdowns. I mean, this is what you came to Miami from Oklahoma to do. What, what does it mean to you to now be able to perform like this and, and uh, put forth the type of um, outings that clearly will help you down the road? Uh, I mean, Obviously, I'm a ball player as well. I'm competitive, don't like to lose. I'm not a loser. <laughs> so just going out there, doing my job, being better for my quarterback, being right for my quarterback just makes me better and him better. So, I mean, whatever gets the job done for Tyler and his school, so get it done. But 120, that's like we're going to come, come harder than that. Yeah, I mean, we know we have, and confidence is a thing here. So we build confidence, and tonight just showed that we're a better team than we were last week. We're a better team than we were yesterday. So, I mean, we're going to enjoy tonight, go on Pittsburgh, keep, try to keep it going. So that's the plan. Thank you. Thank you. Our last question for Charleston comes from Susan Miller Dagger from the Miami Herald. Susan. Hey, Charleston. Um, so you were talking about Tyler's, I think, pregame speeches, right? What is, what is he, tell me about it. Like, what's he like? What does he say? Just letting us know that we all we got, we all we need. Um, being, 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 there, being there for us. So, I mean, him telling us he going to make the throws, he going to make the correct reads, and just letting the offense know, oh, he going to do his job. So we need to do our job and blend in, and you see what happened. Get this W. Charleston also, I, I think I've probably asked this before, but um, what's it like, Andy Diaz? You know, how important is it that you uh, have success for his future? 
Uh, I mean, he's the head coach. Uh, he's a he's a guy here. He's over <laughs> football team. So I mean, he's doing his job. We gotta do our job and be there for him. He be there for us. So it's back and forth. So I mean, Diaz got us. We got Diaz. So keep going next week. Get these dubs. Is, is, what's, what's it like in that locker room? To, to get this two game losing streak behind you um, and to kind of get past all the outside noise from the past week? Um, it's a huge win, huge team win. Um, we, we fought well and we uh, we got a W, found, we found a way to win. And um, of course, you know, the locker room is not what it, what it was last game. It's, you know, uh, we found a way to win. We won together. <laughs> I'm being honest. I didn't even. You just. You just aware me of the of the comment. I wasn't even aware of it. Um, I can't control any of that. We can't control any of that. We can just control playing football, which we do. Um, so I don't. I don't even know what you're talking about, honestly. Well, I guess anyway. I mean, obviously there's a lot of heat on it, regardless of what Big James said. I mean, how much are you guys sort of? You know, obviously I said you want to win, but I know you also love Manny Diaz and what he is like a coach. Can you just speak to that and, and the motivation to try to turn the season on? If I'm being honest, bro, I don't really like the way y'all talk about Coach Diaz on social media. I'm not so like even this is not my thing, but um, I can't really make a comment on that because um, I just don't. Uh, all I can do is just play ball. You know, that's how I can defend my coach. But um, the comments that you you guys make on them is just it's 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 not right. It's unnecessary because you you guys don't know the work that we put in. You know what I'm saying? In and out and like. You shake your head, but you really don't understand, though. No. That's the thing. But I, yeah. Next question. Yeah, Daryl from Football Go. Daryl. Um, um, tonight we saw um, an effort to, to corral to the ball. Can you tell us what happened in practice this week um, to change the tactic? And, um, I see you guys put more effort towards that. Can you tell me what you guys did in practice this week to change that? Um. We just knew we had to trust each other. There haven't been a lot of trust on the defense. Um, we're setting the edges and uh, running to the ball. Then once we get there, we have to wrap up. We're just making contact. We're not wrapping up, but we knew that. So coming into this week, we did times two the tackle drills that we've we've uh, already been doing. Um, so we did more periods of tackling drills than we usually do. Um, and um, it, it turned out pretty good. So. Okay, I got a follow-up question. So, so you say you don't like the way the media talk about Coach Diaz. Tell us what Coach Diaz means to you. Like, how do you see Coach Diaz? Uh, Coach Diaz is a great guy um, on the field and off the field. Uh, that's my guy. And again, I don't like, I don't like the way, you know, people talk. We don't like the way, we don't make comments on it. I shouldn't be making a comment on it now. But um, yeah, Coach Diaz is my guy. He's a great coach, um, great person. He's an honest person. Um, and he's a great guy. And I just don't like, you know what I'm saying? It's just not right, you know? And y'all just do the stuff, y'all. I appreciate it. Yeah. I understand, man. I understand. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Corey, uh, can you just take us through that last tackle? Obviously, one of the biggest plays again. Um, just a routine play. We just did it every day in practice. Every time they're in stacks, he's going to start off the line and do an out route. So I already kind of knew it was coming. So I just had to make the play. And I did. So it's a routine play. Got to make it all the time. And that's how big plays come. Next, we'll go to Kobe Price from the Sun Sentinel. Kobe. Hey, Cam. Uh, a lot of younger guys are paying this stuff up, getting more reps, especially defensively. Uh, as one of the two freshmen on this team, what does it mean to you to you know, kind of have more opportunities presented to you week down and week down? Um, I guess just getting what we deserve, just going and working our hardest every day in practice, and just finally see it's paying off with, play, with playing time. And just showing that we can go out there and hang with the big guys too, because we're a big guy. <laughs> Next, we'll go to Daryl Streeter from Football Mill. Daryl? Okay, Michael, man, congratulations to the win. Um, Thank you. 
right before you went into University of Miami, you came and we interviewed you on, yeah. the, on the KBO show. From that point to now, tell us how you've grown and what you've learned. Um, that everything is like not the same as high school. High school was kind of like you had a few guys that's good, kind of not like guys that's not good. So you got to kind of like take up for other guys and stuff like that. With this, you got to really do your job. You can't try to be a superhero or try to do everybody else's job because that's how you lose games. But yeah, that's how I really grown everything else. I think I'm mature enough to already know and already been put in good situations. Question for Cam will come from Susan Miller, Dagan from the Miami Herald. Susan? Yeah. Um, do you like playing teams? I mean, I would think you like playing teams that are higher ranked and that are more competitive uh, than, than an easier competition. I know next week you're going to Pittsburgh and they're 6 and 1. They beat Clemson today. Um, what kind of challenge is that? And do uh, you know anything about Pittsburgh? Um, Pittsburgh's a good team, but at the end of the day, I feel like no matter who's our opponent, we're going to go out there and play our best football. So, yeah.